Create what? Creation what? The other one, what's his name? The other one, what's his name? Okay. Okay. Look at the Lamed Beis. There's a long parenthesis here. We're skipping. Two, four, six. Six lines in the end of the first column. Last, last. What? Yesterday, you don't recap yesterday? We always do. I don't know where you are at. Okay, now the Rebbe. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go to the Emmer, page Lamed base, six lines in the end of the first column. Okay, the Alter Rebbe is explaining that in order for Lakus to come into the world, it has to have the level of sad, like the level of hair, and the, the level of a Lakus which is completely removed from the world, that can't come into the world as is because it's too great. So it has to be the limitation. He said, that's in Mamalukul Alma, it has to go through the level of hair, because again, hair represents a very limited amount of highest that comes from the head. But the level of Sevakal, which is completely removed, which is the Therefore, you have to leave some shochal in the Bechina side of Daphne. Therefore, from the infinite level of Sevi Kolam and Atik, in order for it to come into the world, there has to be Sadeshi Kamenoka, meaning it has to come through the level of Sidus. Sidus, they look too tall, you could do Shalya in the Daphne. And these hairs, though, that we're talking about in the worlds of the level of Kedusha. Which is the source of Mamalikol Almin, and that's why then you're Nazidus. This mitzvah, being a Nazir with long hair, shows, implies the highest levels of Alakus, that he goes to the Demelelia and he's at Mamamish Holy. Okay, now we're coming to the first Kaddish. This is special for you. So, so the Alt Rebbe is explaining like this. Kaddish means completely disassociated with the world. In order for Kedusha to come into the world, it has to go through the level of Mama Osiris. Symptom, limitation, that it could create uh, the world of Elah Va'olo, cause and effect, and so on. So now, okay, Lamed Bey, second column. Bezel, Inyan, Kat, Aleph, Imim, Kaddish. So at the beginning of the Maimed, al Rebbe quoted but the Chazal say, one group of Malachim says, one's Kaddish, another group says Kaddish, Kaddish, and the third group of Malachim says Kaddish, Kaddish, Kaddish. Right? And the Rebbe explained what it asked, what is all these three levels of Kaddish. So first, the Rebbe explained what the definition of Kaddish is. Completely removed from the world, no connection whatsoever to the world, to the extent that in order for that level of Kaddish, to have any connection with the world whatsoever, it has to go through what's called the hair, a very, very restricted, limited, contracted uh, amount of Elokos. So he says, this is what it says. The, 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 the group that says Kaddish, that's the level of Srofim. Okay, come a verb of Gemara. The Pasuk of Gemara Chulun Shah. So the pearl, which angels say the word Kaddish once? The Malachim called Srofim. Well, in Yen, what does it mean? Shehem b'chines Malachim al yeinim sheba'il ma'briya Srofim are the higher level of the angels. Like it says in the Pasuk, Srafim emdim mimalai, the highest level of angels are called Srafim. They are in the world of Bria. Shesham is galab chinas chabad. Over there is where the level of intellect is revealed in Bria. Lies in Hesham is a malach masigim gdula sin sabaruch. It says in Kabbalah that Ganeiden, where godliness is revealed, is the world of Bria. Why is godliness revealed in the world of Bria? Obviously, Atzilus even more. But Atzilus is completely bottled to Hashem. Over there, that's only in the Shamas come from Atzilus. But Ganeiden and Malachim, even the greatest Malachim, come from the world of Bria. Now, why? Because like we learned, Yud shines in Atzilus, Hey in Bria, Vav in Yitzira, and Hey in Asiya. So, Hey is Bina, which is the concept of understanding. That means in the world of Bria is a world of understanding godliness. 
what level of godliness do they understand? Can they understand only a ray of the Shechina? But it's a level of understanding. Who's saying this? What do you mean? The Gemara says this. I mean, the Rebbe is quoting the Gemara now. This is from Gemara. Yeah. Who says that uh, Malachim says Kaddish, Kaddish, Kaddish? The Gemara says. Well, the, there's a Pasik. We say Kaddish, Kaddish, Kaddish. It's, it's a Pasik. But the Gemara explains it that there's three groups in Malachim. One says Kaddish, one says Kaddish, Kaddish. So he says, the one that says Kaddish is the holiest group of Malachim. One's Kaddish. is the holiest group of Malachim. They're in the world of Brio. Like he said before, in the level of Mamalakol Almin, generally speaking, remember he said there's three general parts. Head, body, feet. Brio, Yitzira, Asiya. Thought, speech, action. That's what he, he spoke about before. There's three levels, Ganeid and the Elyon, Ganeid and the Tachdei similar to the level of Rosh, Goyf, Guf, Regal, head, body, and feet. Okay, Nasrof, Mehem, Bechinus, Elam, Abriya. The Srof and the Malochim that are called Srof, they come from the world of Briya. Shehem, Shom, Ganeid, and Elyon, over there is the highest level of Ganeid, and Hem, Asig, and Gedul, the Saints of Baruch, they understand the greatness of Hashem. And what's the primary understanding? That he's infinite. In other words, the old, there's an expression in Chesidus, Tachas, and not before Chesidus, Tachas Heyedia Shalei Nidoach. The ultimate understanding is that we don't understand. Like we learn, the more you learn, the more you realize you don't understand. Okay? Now, what is the uniqueness to the Malachim called Srafim? Because they're in the world of Bria, which is Ganeiden, which is an understanding of godliness. So over there, they understand, because there's an understanding, they understand how remote and how separated from world God is. Umar Karam Shach is therefore they understand that the source of Amshach and Chaisman is brought to be Mamalakol Almin is only Rakhede Tzim Tzim Otsim Mechina Saida, only through the level of hair, Um Mechina Samaka Nik Mamalakol Almin. And from this source, it's just called Mamala, Shenim Shechmin is Gala Kola Saga Salukur Shabayn Mitzayen Vitachtayn. In other words, they understand like this. All the levels of godliness that we understand, it's only a ray of a ray of a ray of a ray. It's really nothing. They, because they understand alukus, so they understand how greater than their understanding godliness is. Like we said many times in Moshe, a trillion trillion compared to one are both finite. Both are infinite away from infinite. One is infinite away from infinite, and a trillion trillion is infinite away from infinite. So in reality, they're both equal. But there's a difference between one and a trillion trillion. One's perception of infinite is a billion. Like one, you know, if a, what, well, a billion dollars is infinite. A trillion trillion knows what a trillion trillion is. Yeah, and they understand that that's nothing compared to the infinite. So both can't understand infinite. But a trillion trillion has a better understanding what infinite isn't much, much more than, than one does. Right. Now these malachim, because they have an understanding of alukus, so they have a better understanding of what infinite alukus is more than the lower worlds. Now not that they can understand, they can only understand the ray of the Shekhinah. But bottom line is, they have a better understanding what Alukus isn't and how remote and great God Hashem is much more than the lower levels. What? So the Malachim in Priya are Srafim? Yeah. And they say Kaddish once? Once. So they're the highest. Why is it that? Uh, one second, we're not done yet. Therefore, they we say, Hashem Lashanis. And in that, it says the level, I'm first, I'm last, meaning he was always there and will always be there. So now that the Malachim called Sraf understand this level of godliness that it's way, way beyond them, 
So therefore, because they have this desire for godliness, that level of Hashem, they, they have a, a, a dying desire, a longing desire to, to have that level. Is that why they don't have choice? Because they desire... Well, no malachim have choice. I know, and because they don't have choice. No, that's nothing to do with choice because they don't have a yetzara. But this level, even in understanding, the Rambam says in Holos Yisei Deat that at the beginning of the Rambam, when the Rambam speaks about in the spiritual realms, higher angels, lower angels, like the, he says, the Pasuk says, the quote that he says here, Surafim aim dem mi maoli. The Surafim are standing above the Chayis HaKadosh, yeah? Over there, there's no higher and lower per se. Like here, the second floor is higher than the first floor. The first floor is higher than the basement. Over there, when you say higher and lower, it's not physical language. What it means is, it's working, I think. Is your thing working, Masha? Yeah, it's working. It's good. It's kosher. No, where are you reading? Oh, Lamed Base. I know Lamed Base where. And the other way. Yeah. But, so therefore, when the Malachim, the Srafim, are higher than the Ifanim in the Chayis HaKadosh, what it means is they have a greater understanding of godliness is called higher. Just like you say, somebody has a deep mind, doesn't mean it's 30 feet deep. In that language, deep is a different meaning than the physical pit deep. When you say somebody has a big heart, they're generous and say they have a big heart, you don't mean the heart is like this. They die. And what it means, it's, it's a language, it's just like big means better, so to speak. This is a, a nicer heart. So when you speak about the angel standing above somebody else, it doesn't mean in a physical sense. It means the malachim of Elam Abriya have a greater understanding of Alokus than the malachim of Yitzir and Nasir, that's what it means. And this Rafim, because they have this understanding of what Alokus isn't, so to speak, they understand the way it's so infinite, so their level of screaming Kaddish ones is this longing of getting out of here. Okay, so he says, through this, they have in the Slavim is not Bachuk of Irish Beish. They have this tremendous desire as a burning flame, Listakola be according to Malka, to look and gaze into the greatness of Hashem in the level of Savior Kolam in the way Kaddish moved them. And that's why these Malachim are called Srafim. Why are these Malachim called Srafim? No, no, no. It's uh, from the word Srafa, fire. So the reason why these Malachim are called Srafim because they have this burning fire longing to become one with Hashem. That's why they only say Kaddish one. Once. Why? They have one will, to be connected to this infinite level of Alokos. They have this one desire, that's all they're interested in. One desire to be connected to the higher level of Alokos. Therefore, it says, Srafim Eindim Mimaloi. Srafim stand above the other Malachim, Ifanim and Chaisa Kedesh. And we asked the question before, So now the Rebbe is explaining a question he asked at the beginning. He quoted the Pasik that says, Srafim Aimdim Mimaloi. Simply means the Srafim is the Srafim, these Malachim stand above him. Who is the him? The Shina. So the Rebbe asked the beginning of the Maimir, how is it possible that a Malach, an angel, which is a creation, could stand above the Shechina. So he says, For Inyan, the Inyan is as follows. Yeshaya Eimer, in the Navi Yeshaya, he says the following. The Eres Adna Yeshiv Akisiram, I see the level of Adna Yashem sitting on a high chair. Srafim Eimdemimala. So now the Srafim stand above. So what does this mean? 
Peter Shem Adnai Adnai is the level of Malchus is body, the level of Malchus. But how in Chsidis Odin is a king, is a master. In a Shaila, his Machinus Malchus say Kamesha Dain Lamail Bissabish by Elamis, where Chinus Dalla Rapsi da Echod, Shamla Hissig Yeshaya Klau. Okay? In other words, the level higher than Malchus, which is the bigger Dalid, explain in a second, that Yeshaya Novi didn't get. He didn't reach that level of Navor. So like this. We learned Dalid is the level of Malchus. Why is Dalid the level of Malchus? No, There's two. One, two. Yeah. One, number. That's number two. Number one, Dalid is Dibur. The first letter of Dibur, which means speech, which is Malchus. And secondly, the letter Dalid comes with Dal, poor. The level of Malchus is nothing of its own. Only what it gets from a higher level. Malchus is the receiver. Right? So therefore, so if, and that level of, so what's the big Dalit? The big Dalit of Echad is the way Malchus is still in the level of Atzilus. In other words, we learned already, remember Malchus in the link, yeah? So Malchus has two parts of it. There's the Malchus the way it is in Atzilus. Okay? And then there's Malchus the way it comes into Bria. That's Bar Shem Kormos Yeah, that's Bar Shem So, But now, Dalit, big Dalit represent. So Dalit is Malchus. You have a bigger Dalit and you have the normal Dalit. The bigger Dalit is the way Malchus stands in Atzilis before it comes through the parsa, before the curtain, into Bria to create a limited world, Yesh Me'ayim. And then, so he says, that level Yeshaya didn't get. Rabbi, when you say Shekhinah, what do you mean? Malchus. Shekhinah, yeah, but which level of godliness? How could an angel be above One sec, that's what he asked, and now that's what he's explaining. He asked the question, how could they be higher than, than Shekhinah? Shekhinah is Malchus of Atzilis. How could the creations of Bria be higher than, than the level of Malchus? But Shekhinah, the level of Shekhinah, Ziv HaShekhinah, remember we learned in Gan Eden, let's just explain, the, 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 have the, the technicalities of it straight. Gan Eden is Bria. The higher level of Gan Eden is Bria. Now what do they do in Bria, in, in Gan Eden? They have Anna from Ziv HaShekhinah, the ray of the Shekhinah. Now, where's the Shekhinah and where's the Rei? Shekhinah is a Malchus of Atzilas. Why is Malchus called Shekhinah? Because Shekhinah means Shochein, to rest in a lower level. I will dwell in their midst. So Shekhinah, the word Shekhinah means dwelling. So the level of Elokus, as it is by itself, yeah, is not so much the level of Shekhinah. When Shekhinah comes into the lower level, then, so Ziva Shekhinah is the ray of Shekhinah, which is Malchus of Atzilis, the big Dalit, the way it is in Atzilis, and now that level, the ray of the Shekhinah, the way it comes into Bria, that's what the Malachim and the Nishamas in Gad Eden have an understanding of. That that's Mamalakalam. And that's why he says this level of Malchus Datsilis, the way it is in Atsilis, Yeshaya had no. He was second to Meshir Abenu, by the way, in Nevoa. And he says in the parentheses, two lines. Zulasi al Meshir Abenu Amen Azal, Hereo Keshe Shel Remember when Meshir Abenu, Rashi brings us down, Pashas Kisisa from the Gemara. After Hashem forgave the Jews, Meshir Abenu saw it an opportune time. He said, Hareini Nas Kvedecha. Show me your glory. Show me. Godliness, yeah? So Hashem says to him, No person could see me. And it says two things. means no person can see me and live. But the Medrash says, Chai refers to the Malachim, Chai Sakaydish. Not even a person can see me, a Malach can see me. So what did the Hashem say? I'm going to put you in the crack of the rock. And I'm going to go by, you're going to see my back. That's what it says in the Chumash, right? In Pashat Kisisa. 
So Rashi quotes from the Gemara, what does it mean, Varisa Sachare? What back? God has a back? Again. So he showed him the Kesher of Tfilin in the back, the Tfilin, it, it did not, is in the form of a Dalit. Right? You have Shin, Dalit, all the Shin Dalit Jews over there. So Hashem Shal Meshach Rabbeinu, the knot of the Tfilin. Now, the knot of the Tfilin, the Dalit, but no, it's a Dalit. The Dalit at the back of the Tfilin, the, the Kesher, is a level of the Dalit of Dalit Rapsi of at Malchus of Atzilis. The big Dalit. The big Dalit. So when Hashem showed Meshach Rabbeinu the back of his Tfilin, what do you mean? Meshe Rabbeinu, Hashem showed him the level of Malchus Datsilis as it is in Atsilis. Yeshaya Novi didn't reach that level. Yeshaya Novi didn't reach that level. Only Meshe Rabbeinu reached, we leave that le- reached that level. So, one second, one second, let's see. Raka Sagasi only was Malchus Kameshim with Malabesh Ba'ilm is Bechinis Malukol Amun. And that's, so Yeshaya did see Malchus the way it is in Atzilus. Yeshaya only saw godliness the way Malchus already comes into the world of Bria. And he said, meaning, what did he see? When the Alokus comes into the world of Bria, which is called Kise, which is called the chair of Hashem, that's when he saw Adnai, Malchus, sitting on the chair the way it came into Bria. In other words, sometimes in, in the, it, there's a Pasuk in Tanakh, Hashvayim Kisi V'Arza Deim Ragna, which we say in the Haftar of Shabbos V'Shchedesh. The Pasuk says, the Navi says, the heaven is my chair and the earth is my footstool. Now, obviously, God doesn't sit in a chair. What does it mean, a Shemayim Kisi, that the heaven is my chair and the earth is my footstool? So again, Torah speaks in human terms. When you sit, you're obviously going down. You're lowering yourself to sit. Standing is when you stand upright. Sitting is when you lower yourself. What does the Pasuk mean when Hashem says a Shemayim Kisi, that even the level of Shemayim, which is already creation of worlds, that's only a descent of godliness. It's only my chair, meaning it's, uh, it's a lower level of godliness. That's the way Malchus comes into the world of Mamalukolam and into Bria. So that level is what Yeshaya saw. He's not done yet with Yeshaya, but the Pearl Meshe Rabbeinu saw Malchus Datsilis the way it still is in Atsilis. And Yeshai wasn't that great. He only saw Malchus the way he comes into Bria. Um, and therefore, Va'ata Giber Leil Mashem, Shatarachli is Gvur Zimsumim, to be the level of Adnai. You know, with Avni, we say, Ata Giber Leil Mashem. Simply, it means, God, you're very strong forever. Ya Ata Giber, you're Giber strong, Leil Mashem. Here now, the Rebbe is interpreting Apich Siddis in order for Atta, the essence, to come into Adnai, which is Malchus, has to be the level of Gvura Tzimtzum, limitation, removal, contraction, concealment, for Atta to become Adnai. For the essence of Alokus to come into world, which is Malchus, Adnai, that it has to be Gvura. Oh, can you I'm not suggesting anything. That the Gemara says. I'm just the microphone. No. What do you mean? God wears tefillin. It's a Gemara in Brachas. Well, he has a head. That's an issue. Yeah. God has a physical head. Was it like this? That's worse. <laughs> when God sits, he has a chair. When God speaks, he has a mouth. I don't know. I'm asking only about this. He 
you're only asking about this. The Gemara says, because Magid Devar, the kid say that you should listen when the kid becomes Bar Mitzvah, Chabad kid, they say a discourse. They talk all about this in the discourse. Huh? What? Yeah, but I'm saying that, that that's the Pasik. And the Gemara says, whatever Mitzvah Shem tells us to do, he does. Yes? So the Gemara says, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Maniach Tefillin. The Gemara says, God puts on Tefillin. So the Gemara says, what does it say? Tefillin Demari Alma Maksevu. What does it say in God's Tefillin? Umi Ka'amcha Yisrael Goy Echad Ba'aretz. What does it say in our Tefillin? Shema Yisrael Shem Lokein Hashem Echad. Our Tefillin say the praises of God. That Hashem is Echad. In God's Tefillin, I'll explain in a second. In God's tefillin it says, Umi ka'amcha Yisra goy echad ba'aretz. Hashem praises us and we praise Hashem. It's like, you know. Yeah, I, I praise you, you praise me, and it's all full, full of hot air. But by alukus, it's emes. That means. So what does it mean Hashem puts on tefillin? Just like our tefillin. Have a hand, tefillin, and a head tefillin. Yes? The hand tefillin represents feelings of the heart, next to the heart, right? And action. The head tefillin symbolizes understanding, revelation of understanding. Got it? So far makes sense? So what, not that he needs, Hashem wants, doesn't need anything. Hashem wants, and therefore he needs, because he wants to need. It's very important to keep that in mind. Hashem wants to need that we should, that he should put on tefillin, meaning he reveals that level of godliness to the Jewish people. That's what it means he puts on tefillin. So he has feet. But they're not physical tefillin like yours and mine. That's a spiritual aspect. Again, just like God doesn't speak and God doesn't sit and God doesn't stand, it's understanding the concept of all these things. We understand the way it works by God. What is tefillin binding the mind and heart to God? Intellectual, emotional, action. So that level exists in godliness also. There's the intellectual level of godliness. There's the seichel, chachma bin and das. There's the level of emotional aspect in seven midas. There, there's thought, speech, and action in the world, in the realm of godliness. Obviously not our thought, speech, and action. Anyway, this is very descriptive. Caricature is a caricature God. That's why, for the millionth time, so we, the Rambam says it doesn't mean in a physical sense. I told you, God doesn't speak, but the concept of speech exists by God. The concept of thought exists by God. The concept of that. What? If the concept was not in God, it would not exist. Correct. The reason why it has to exist in God, because it doesn't exist in God, it ain't down here. It can't. But obviously, over there, it's, it's a different realm. When you say chesed, in Pasach Leo, chesed roya yamina, chesed is the right hand of God. It doesn't mean God has a right hand and on it is tattooed chesed. But you see, you say it's metaphorical, but then you go into very descriptive. Yeah, because to understand about. the details, just by your human being, the physical aspects of details, that's because in the spiritual realm, there are details in the spirituality. And therefore, when it manifests itself down here, it comes into all those physical very details. Physical, very yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.